Hey guys, and welcome back to Mother's Barbecue. My name's Chris. On this video, we're gonna be firing up the pit barrel, and we're gonna be doing a grilled chicken with a maple bourbon barbecue sauce in the rain. Now stick around. All right, so I got the pit barrel basket filled up according to the instructions. Always follow the instructions on the pit barrel because it's designed this way and it works great. We'll go ahead and get this loaded up into the pit barrel. And I'm gonna go ahead and add about 15 to 20 lit coals. I'm gonna go ahead and give this about 20 minutes with the lid off, give it time to get the temp. I'm gonna add the pit barrel grill grate to this. And we'll see you in about 20 minutes. All right, so what I got here is a whole chicken that I spatchcocked, and I just hit it with some store-bought uh, rub. And we're gonna get this on the pit barrel. Now the beauty with these pit barrels is the distance from the grate to where the coals are is perfect. It's gonna give it just enough heat to grill up. I'm gonna go ahead and get a temp probe with my Maverick into the breast. And we're looking at 165 on this. Get this covered up and we'll just keep an eye on the tent. All right, so while our chicken is on the grill, let's go ahead and make our maple bourbon barbecue sauce. I'm gonna start out with some tomato paste, two cups of bourbon, one cup of apple cider vinegar, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of really good maple syrup. We got half a cup of soy sauce, Quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, quarter cup of molasses, you got a quarter cup of Frank's Red Hot, you got a quarter cup of paprika, you got a quarter cup of garlic powder, a quarter cup of granulated onion, you got two tablespoons of cumin, and you got two tablespoons of ground mustard. Go ahead and whisk this together. We're gonna let this reduce by half. All right, here's our sauce after about 25, almost 30 minutes reduced real nice, nice and thick. It's got a gorgeous color on it. Let's go ahead and give this a little taste. Sweet. That bourbon does come through. You do get that maple. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and get this into a container. Our chicken is about 136 degrees right now. We'll start coating that with some sauce in a little bit. All right guys, so our chicken's been in for maybe about an hour, hour and a half. The internal temp is about 150. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. It's looking pretty good. Go ahead and we're gonna start coating this with our maple bourbon sauce. We're gonna be coating, I don't know, every 10 minutes or so until it gets up to about 162, 165. All right, so our chicken just reached 162 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and just double check some spots on it. I have been coating every 10 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and just double check. Looks like I'm about 163, 162. We'll call it 163. Let's go ahead and pull this off and we're gonna let this rest. All right, so here's our chicken. It's been resting for about 15 minutes. Looking great. Let's go ahead and slice into this breast. Wow, nice and juicy. All right, let's take a bite of this. That, that sauce is incredible. Nice and sweet. Still get that bourbon. You get that cumin kicks in really good too. You guys need to go check out pitbarrelcookers.com. You gotta get one of these. They're inexpensive, they smoke, they grill, they do everything, and they're easy to use. Thanks for watching. Remember, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next round. Thanks for watching.